You old hag, get out of here right this second. The fact that you're here makes me feel sick. I think I'm going to vomit right now. I'm telling you to divorce my dad and get the hell out of this house. I don't want to see you anymore. How dare you address me in such a manner? An old hag, you say? The audacity of you to utter such words to your own mother and to suggest that I divorce your father and leave? Who do you think you are? Hey, I know your secret. You think I don't know? You're talking about getting a divorce with my dad right now, aren't you? You can't hide things from me, you know? I heard you two talking about it last night in the living room. What? Were you eavesdropping on our private conversation? Well, I was feeling peckish and decided to make a late night snack. You two weren't exactly whispering, were you? It was loud and clear. Not that I wanted to hear it. It was far from a pleasant conversation to overhear. So, Dad's been seeing a younger woman, has he? Fascinating. And your reaction last night was quite something. Not that it's the first time you've lost control of your emotions. It was quite comical how absurd the whole conversation was. I nearly burst out laughing. I fail to see the humor in any of this. This is a serious matter. Your father has been unfaithful. Do you understand the implications? So, that means my dad is still popular with the ladies. Good for him. I guess he looks pretty good for his age. He's good about working out at the gym. Actually, I'm kind of envious that a young woman would find him attractive. I mean, the woman you guys were talking about is really young, right? Still in her late 20s or something? Wow. I mean, you ought to take it easy. It's not so cool to lose your temper like that, you know? Pretty miserable, I'd say. Maybe you ought to realize that you aren't exactly a woman anymore. You're just an old hag now. It's not a surprise that my dad would look around for better options. Oh my god, I can't believe what you're saying. You need to keep your cool. It's nauseating to see you lose control like that. You become quite unattractive when you're unhinged. No wonder dad sought the company of another woman. You're not as young as you once were. It's time for you to face reality. That's just how it is. Enough, Nicholas. I've had enough of your insolence. I can hardly believe these are the words of my own son. Your words are completely out of line. I won't stand for being called an old hag. If my presence makes you sick, so be it. Shut up, you old hag. Dad had enough of you. He's dumping you for a good reason. Stop telling me what to do. I told Dad that he should go right ahead and get a divorce. Dad said that isn't a bad idea at all. <laughs> what? Get out! Get out! <laughs> get a divorce and get out! <laughs> Albert shows no remorse for his affair. And now my own son is telling me to get a divorce and leave. This is beyond belief. Well, perhaps I will do just that. Leaving this house seems like an excellent idea. I don't know why I've put up with both of you for so long. Hooray! Finally, the loud old hag will be out of the house. It'll be so peaceful here. Make sure you never come back here after the divorce. Have a good life. <laughs> Hello, Albert. It's been a while. I needed to clarify something with you, if that's okay. Haley, what brings you to me? Ah, I see. You're hoping for a reunion, aren't you? I knew it, Haley. You've never been able to let go of me. It's understandable. Don't flatter yourself. I'm reaching out because of Nicholas. I received an unexpected invitation from him. What's happening? Ah, uh, so the invitation finally reached you. Well, it's a joyous occasion. Our dear son Nicholas is getting married. As his mother, your presence would mean the world to him. It's going to be a wonderful event. How many years have passed since our separation? We parted ways when Nicholas was still in middle school. I haven't seen either of you since then. I'm not inclined to respond to an invitation that came out of nowhere. What seems to be the issue? Nicholas wanted you at his wedding, hence the invitation. It's as simple as that. It's a time for celebration and a chance for the family to reunite, don't you agree? 
And with Nicholas starting his own family, perhaps we could consider doing the same. Excuse me? Listen, Haley, I believe it's time for you to forgive Nicholas. He was a rebellious teenager back then, but he's matured into a fine young man now. He deeply regrets his past actions that led to your departure. Boys can be impulsive and say things they don't mean in jest. It doesn't always come across that way though. And of course, I regret it too. Nicholas was just being a typical teenager when he suggested divorce. I never thought you'd take it seriously and actually file for divorce. So yes, I apologize for what transpired back then. We all make mistakes. Your regret comes too late. Do you honestly believe I could forgive either of you? Absolutely not. I'd appreciate it if you stayed out of my life from now on. Come on, Haley. We were once married. We had some good times together, didn't we? Our little boy is all grown up and getting married. Can you believe it? So, don't you think this is an opportunity for us to start afresh? I know you're still single. You must be feeling lonely. You've been waiting for me to reach out again, haven't you? Haley, I know deep down you still harbor feelings for me and yearn for us to reconcile. Stop spouting such nonsense. The reason I remain single is because of the lessons I learned from our marriage. I have no intention of marrying again. It was one of the most dreadful experiences of my life. I harbor no feelings for you whatsoever, except perhaps anger. The very idea of having feelings for you is repulsive. No way. You can't be serious. You're just in denial, Haley. We were once a great couple. Um, anyway, I'm going to let Nicholas know that I will be absent from his wedding ceremony. Goodbye. Hey, Mom! What the hell is this? You're not attending my wedding? I really had to work up my courage to invite you. And you tell me that you won't be there? What kind of a mother are you? What? Is this Nicholas? I'm sorry about what I said to you back then. I regret having told you to get out of the house. I really do. You know how I was back then. I was such a teenager. I mean, teenagers are just stupid, right? Teenagers hurt their parents. I know. It's unfortunate, but I did that. I've been feeling really bad about it ever since. Oh, so this really is Nicholas. It's pretty creepy because you sound like a totally different person. Oh, mom. Seriously? It's natural for people to change after 15 years or so, right? I was in junior high school back then. I'm turning 30 this year. My rebellious teenage years are way behind me. You can put your mind at ease. Well, I guess that could be. But for me, you're still who you were 15 years ago. Time has stopped for me. It is a strange feeling, I must say. Well, it's true that I was a pretty terrible son to you back then. You know how I was on the football team in middle school, right? There were members who were older than me, and they were pretty unbelievable. I think that they had a pretty big influence on me. I mean, they were so rebellious, it really wasn't funny. They did stuff that I would never have dreamt of doing. But anyway, I had this crazy idea back then that being a bad son was kind of the cool thing to do. Well, you sure gave me a hard time back then. It was no use telling you what to do. You just got worse and worse. I really couldn't take it anymore though. I had enough. Really, I apologize for the way I behaved back then. And I really do. So, can we make it up now? It would be great if you could come to my wedding. I want to be a good son to you from now on. I really want both of you and dad to be there to congratulate me. I understand what you're saying, but I'm sorry. I think it would be difficult for me to be there. Please ask your father to be there for you, alright? What? I understand that you're feeling bad about the past, but that has nothing to do with how I feel. It's been 15 years since I divorced your father, and we haven't seen each other during all those years. I honestly have no idea what to say when you suddenly send me an invitation letter and tell me how you feel sorry about it and that you want to be a better son from now on? I just can't bring myself to be there at your wedding ceremony. I just can't. Wait, w wait a minute here. I apologize, didn't I? I regret all that I said to you back then. 
It wasn't exactly easy for me to work up the courage to invite you to my wedding ceremony, you know. And you still insist on not coming? Nicholas, I don't ask you to understand this. But I can never forgive you for all the terrible things you said to me back then. Never. It doesn't matter how much remorse you show me. It won't change my feelings. That's just the way it is. But, really? I mean, I was still going to junior high school. I was a teenager. That was ages ago. I'm telling you that I'm really sorry. Why can't you just attend the wedding? I see what you are saying, but a mother is also a human being. All that verbal abuse hurt me extremely. Also, I felt a lot of anger, obviously. Back then, I reached a point where I didn't know what my life was really about. I felt like I was wasting my life being with an abusive son and an unfaithful husband. Those are things that I can't just forget and pretend like they never happened. I'm sorry that I can't be there for your wedding. Have a good wedding ceremony. Oh, will you just shut up? I'm telling you to come to my wedding. I'm your son. Just zip it and do as I tell you. Women aren't supposed to talk back. What? Nicholas? So you don't want to attend the wedding. Fine. Then at least you should offer to give me a wedding gift. Don't you think? You declined my invitation after all. I think you owe me at least a wedding gift worth $50,000. That would be the minimum, to be honest. $50,000? What are you talking about? What's wrong with that? You're my mother and you won't accept my invitation. That is the very least that you can do. Come on, pay up. I gave you a chance to be a mother again. It's your fault. You can just transfer that money into my bank account. Saves you the trouble of buying a gift. Whoa! What are you saying? What is going on here? What is this sudden change of attitude? And you're demanding me a payment of $50,000? No way! Shut up, you old hag! I apologize, didn't I? Why don't you show some understanding? What are you? A devil or something? All you needed to say was, Yes, Nicholas, I would love to be there for your wedding ceremony. Old hag! Did I read that right? It does sound awfully familiar. Man, I was trying to be on my best behavior for nothing. I thought that if I said I'm sorry, you would attend my wedding. All you need to do is just keep your mouth shut and sit next to dad at my wedding. That is all you need to do. I'm not asking you to do much, am I? What do you mean? If I don't show up at your wedding, you can't marry your fiancé? Well, my girlfriend's family has got a lot of money. So I can't exactly tell them that my parents got divorced when I was a child, you know. So I haven't told them about your divorce with dad. That's horrible. I was able to avoid the subject with them up until now somehow. But it would look pretty bad if the future husband's mother is not at the wedding, don't you think? So, do you get this now? I need you to be at my wedding. Otherwise, I'll be in deep trouble. That's why I'm asking you to be there. Wow, what a stupid reason. Why didn't you tell me this from the start? I said shut up. Just be there at my wedding. That is all you need to do. You have no idea how hard it was for me to grow up with just dad around. Because you got all that alumni for your divorce. We were poor. I mean, dirt poor. It totally sucked. There was so much stuff that I couldn't buy. I bet you don't know what it feels like to not have any money to buy stuff that you want. But I'm telling you that I will forgive you for all of that. I think you should be thankful that I'm willing to forgive you. In fact, you should be happy that your son is inviting you to his wedding ceremony. What are you talking about? I think you've forgotten that it was you who told me to get divorced. Stop playing the part of a victim already. What a joke. Shut up. What kind of a mother listens to her teenage son and actually files for a divorce? Dad just had a little fling. And you get all upset and divorce him and leave me behind? You have no idea how hard my life became because of your stupid divorce. I left you behind? You told me to get out of the house. You couldn't have forgotten that. Come on! What the hell? You aren't actually serious. I finally got this girl to say yes to my wedding proposal. I have been hiding from her and her family about your stupid divorce all this time. I won't let you ruin all of this. I am so close to getting married to her at last. It took me a lot of time and effort for me to get her to say yes. That is none of my business. I have nothing to do with you or your father. 
nothing. I am out of the picture. Your problems are yours. My problems are mine. Let's keep it that way. Just keep your mouth shut, alright? Just promise me that you'll attend my wedding. This is your duty as my mother. Think of it as your final obligation. I will have you there. I will do anything for that. You just wait and see. What? Nicholas, I'm not your mother. Yes, you are. Sheesh, I thought you'd actually become a better person. But boy, was I wrong. You have not changed at all. Not a tiny bit. Well, I guess it's not so surprising. People don't change that easily. To think that you had me fooled for even a few minutes. I should have known better. I have to say, you acted your part well. What are you talking about? What do you mean that you aren't my mother? Oh, I get it. You want to say that because you divorced dad. You don't consider yourself to be my mother anymore. Well, that is partly true. But to begin with, I am not your mother, biologically speaking. At least, I have no recollection whatsoever of giving birth to a stupid son like you. Thank God, actually. It would be so horrifying if I'd actually given birth to you. Your real mother is a woman who had an affair with your father. You are not my child. What? You're telling me that you had a miserable life because I got tons of alimony? You had a hard time because you only had your father to raise you? You should be telling this to your father, who is the root of all these troubles. Not me. Your father did all that. What? Wait, wait a minute. I don't get it. What is this? Is this some kind of joke? Dad had an affair with someone and I'm their child? What? It seems like your father has not told you anything at all. Almost right after your father and I got married, he got involved in a relationship. And one day, the woman your father had an affair with just came to her front door and dumped you right there and left. There was a message though. I can't raise this child by myself. I think that's what it said. What? Of course there was talk of divorce then. But you were still a baby and I couldn't leave you alone. So I decided that your father and I would take you in and raise you as my son. Unfortunately, that bastard just couldn't stay true to our marriage. The divorce that we had when you were in junior high, that actually happened because I found out that your father had been sleeping around with your actual mother. You can't be serious. Yup. That scumbag was doing stuff behind my back all these years. He hadn't broken off the relationship with that woman. That thing about leaving you alone in front of our door was part of their plan. They wanted me to take you in, and they kept on having fun. So basically, that woman couldn't be bothered to take care of you, so she forced that job on me instead. What? Wait a minute. If what you're saying is true, then dad is... dad is... That's right. He is probably one of the worst human beings I've ever met. That's why I was able to get so much consolation money. Of course, my lawyer did a great job as well. But to tell you the truth, I really think I deserved much more. So now that you know the whole story, I don't think you can force me to be there at your wedding. If you want your mother to be there that bad, you ought to ask your real mother instead. I imagine that your father would know where she lives these days. Hey, you have some nerve. Why on earth did you tell Nicholas everything? Were you out of your mind? Can't you be a bit more considerate? I have been able to keep this a secret from Nicholas all these years. Out of my mind? Oh, please. Please stay out of my life. You bring nothing but trouble. Just tell Nicholas where his real mother lives. I would tell him if I knew, but I don't even have her phone number. You have to play the part of Nicholas's mother. That's the only way. Excuse me? It's true that after we got divorced, I thought of getting married to Nicholas's real mother. But then she betrayed me. She said I was so happy that I was spared the trouble of bringing up a child. What makes you think that I would do that now? Then she just disappeared. I couldn't get in touch with her at all. I get it now. That's why Nicholas was saying that he only had you to raise him. No one was willing to help me because they had heard I had an affair with a woman. I had no more savings left thanks to you and our lawyer. Every day was miserable. Well, if you think that I sympathize with you, then you are dead wrong. You brought all this trouble on yourself. Right. It's all my fault. But really, that has nothing to do with Nicholas and his wedding, don't you think? That poor boy had a real hard time after you left, but he is finally going to get married. And his fiance comes from a pretty rich family. You know that famous delivery company, Door to Door? What? 
That company is the biggest one around here. The girl Nicholas is getting married to, her father is the president of that company. I am counting on this marriage, and I really have almost no savings left. I beg you, Haley, as someone who raised Nicholas, could you not attend his wedding? And if you could help out a bit with the wedding ceremony cost as well, that would be really great. It's out of the question. You must be out of your mind to ask me to attend the wedding on top of that. Ask me to help out with the ceremony's costs? But Haley, you got so much money from me when we got divorced. Don't you think you could help out this time? Alright then, it's fine that you can't help out with the wedding costs. But how about getting back together? When Nicholas mentioned that he planned to invite you, I've been thinking how good of a chance this is for us to get back together again. Well, think again. I mean, it would be kind of hard for us to act as if we were married in front of Nicholas's fiance's parents. So it would be easier if we were just married again. We wouldn't have to act out the part of a married couple. I really want to live with you again, Haley. I promise that I will never betray you again. You also don't have to grow old and be alone, do you, Haley? If we get back together again, you'll be able to have your son and his beautiful wife as your family. They'll probably have a child. Then you can have a grandchild. I'm sure you can be more happy than you are now. Shut up, you worthless rat! Excuse me? Don't tell me what my happiness is. I don't know why you think that I'd be happy to be back together with a man who betrayed me twice after years of deceiving his wife. Being single is much better, by far. And I'll have you know that I'm very busy playing with my little sister's children. I don't give a damn about a son who's not even related to me. So never contact me again. It would be for your own good to tell the truth about Nicholas's upbringing to his fiance before things get too messy. I've heard from that. So it's true then. We're not related by blood. I thought you were just messing with me. But it seems the truth is stranger than fiction. I'm relieved you've come to terms with it. Therefore, I won't be attending your wedding. That's my final decision. But that's a separate issue altogether. I insist on having you at my wedding as my mother. What? I believe dad might have mentioned my fiancé to you. She hails from a wealthy family. Her parents are quite traditional and they might not take kindly to the news of your divorce. So I desperately need someone to fill the role of my mother. No, that's just your assumption. Divorce is quite common these days. Single parent households are not unusual. Rejecting a marriage because the parents are divorced, that's an outdated notion. Well, you might be right. But there's another secret I've been keeping from my fiancé and her parents. What? I... Well, given the current economic climate, I was recently let go from my job, so I'm currently unemployed. Oh my god! I haven't been able to tell my fiancé, let alone her parents. Dad doesn't know about this either, and Dad's finances aren't in the best shape either, so he won't be able to cover the wedding expenses. But as the groom, I feel obligated to bear the cost of the ceremony. Please, Mom, please attend my wedding. And could you possibly contribute towards my wedding fund? Unbelievable. Like father, like son. Well, it's not entirely disadvantageous for you either. If you help with the ceremony, I promise to take care of you in your old age. After all, you're single and childless. What kind of life is that? But I promise you that I will look after you as your son. I swear. So, we have a deal? The thought of having company in your old age must be quite moving. Yes, it does bring tears to my eyes. Not because of your proposal, but due to your outstanding lack of sense. What? Who would believe such an absurd promise? It's astonishing that you're hiding so much from your fiancé and her family, especially about your unemployment. Wow, I can't deal with this anymore. I've just reached out to your fiancé's family. My fiancé's family? Thank you for mentioning her father's company name. It was quite easy to get in touch with them. I thought they might be suspicious if I called them directly, so I initiated contact via email. I attached a screenshot of our conversation here. That's a lie. No way. No way. You're joking, right? This is some kind of sick joke, right? If they find out about this, the wedding will definitely be called off. Perhaps calling off the wedding would be for the best. It would certainly be better for her, at least. No! Her parents are calling me right now. 
What am I supposed to do now? Oopsies. Looks like you have a call to attend to. You'll probably be quite busy with that. I hope her parents can find it in their hearts to forgive you for everything, especially for keeping your unemployment a secret. After that, I received a message from Nicholas's fiance's parents. They said, We've been asking Nicholas and his father what is going on, but their answers aren't making much sense to us. If we could ask you to explain what they're trying to say, that would be really helpful. I gladly obliged. I gladly obliged the request and told them all that I knew. This included Nicholas's father's betrayal and his years of deceiving me, as well as Nicholas's verbal abuse to me and his current state of unemployment. They were speechless. I hear that the marriage was called off right away. After that, it seems that Nicholas blamed his father for all that happened. And in return, Albert blamed his own son for everything. What a comedy! I hear that they were throwing punches at each other, and that they both ended up in a hospital where they are currently receiving treatment.